Hello everyone, Kyle here and today we're back for some more RimWorld. A quick summary to catch you up in case you missed last episode. We just lost Fosley to an infection. Diana had heat stroke and was tending to some of the new people we'd just found. And Whisper was asleep next to a dead child. Tina was unwell, laying in bed recovering from a lot of different things. But mainly just an attack from a guinea pig, which is devastating. Our food storage was just abundant with corpses, so they were going to be able to eat for days. As for Stuart, well, Stuart was doing the unthinkable. He was playing horseshoes in the garden. Right, now we're all caught up. Let's continue this mess. Stuart, we might actually need you to tend to Lynn because he's not doing too well. Maybe if you could just recapture him and throw him back in his bed, that would be a good start. So Whisper's deathly ill, apparently. Oh, I see she's got a major infection. So the bad news is I think that we don't have any more med packs because we've used them all. But the good news is, well, you're going to die soon soon so the suffering will be over oh i see you've chosen to put lynn inside of fosley i guess it will keep him warm so i think we need to try and find a way to start making some med packs i'm sure somewhere within this mess of a skill tree there's a way to learn med packs let's see med stone cutting no that's not medicine medicine production it's all the way up there wow you have to learn microelectronics and drug production first hmm well that is a tricky one i mean we could learn those or or we could learn autopsy which allows us to remove organs from people i guess it would be more useful than smithing at the moment maybe if we can start gaining some organs from people we can change some of our damaged organs on our elderly people diana what are you building at the moment a bone dining chair well that's good priorities isn't it Stuart's just returned to playing horseshoes he really isn't very helpful sometimes Stuart's gone sick with fibrous mechanite ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor Oh dear, oh dear. I don't think we have a medical bed. Stuart, your bed's now going to be a medical bed for the moment. Maybe you should rest up. Gives you mild pain. Well, I guess it's better than severe pain, so count your blessings. All right, let's have a look around our island in case there's any med packs that fell out of the sky. One can be hopeful, can't they? There's another dead person. That would be good to gather. And there's another dead person. And another dead person. Wow, it really did rain with dead people, didn't it? Okay, do you know what? We're just going to do the allow order over the entire map grab whatever you want i don't care what are you building now diana a bone table i'm glad you're making the prisoner's life a little bit more comfortable okay where's Stuart going oh no Stuart, don't oh i shouldn't have done that do it don't touch the eggs do it where are you going oh why do you all want to get the eggs look at these things these are monsters look they've eaten this guy here hold on hold on <sighs> I never thought I'd have to do this, but don't touch the eggs. They're not even eggs, it's jelly. Why do you want jelly? Cancel whatever you're doing. Do that. You prioritise hauling the dead guinea pig. There we go. What are you doing? Okay, you're treating him. See? That's the spirit. Maybe you can save Lynn's life. Our little robot boy. I think we've taken most of his limbs, if I remember. Oh, he's got a peg leg. His right leg's got a gunshot wound as well. I swear you had more limbs missing before. I didn't think limbs came back, but maybe yours did. Okay, so a crate has just crashed with some weird blob thing in it a boomalope you'll be fine where you are you're right next to a cougar and i'm pretty sure i heard they're like nanny animals like evil ones like that smother the babies but still oh, i really don't like looking at this little boy dead here i can't look at him in the eyes so i'll just have diana take his head off there we go that's much better isn't it oh Stuart's just falling asleep next to the prisoners because i've given his bed up haven't i like let's turn that off go lay in bed a uh, whisper just died from an infection that's good doesn't have to be for prisoners anymore does it we can turn it back into a bed for hotel guests we'll do ten dollars for the price that's a bargain i mean none of my prisoners are doing very well at the moment i'm gonna set them all to be enslaved i don't think any of them are suitable to join our society they're all too young 26 23 and 24 no we only take pensioners diana's just moving sylvine's head she didn't want it in the bed anymore oh she's just collecting the bones oh good she's gonna turn him into a dresser instead that's lovely tina's in starvation oh because no one's been feeding her but well, we have plenty of human meat so you might as well just have some of that we should really get more priority on growing crops i think i'll let tina enjoy her meal first four of your colonists have gotten sick from gut worms well, that doesn't sound so bad when i was a kid i really wanted some gut worms of my own but my doctor said my body wouldn't support life inside of it maybe we need to be spending more time 
actually making meals and stuff rather than feeding the convicts. Some of the priorities in this camp are just completely off. What are you doing? You're just going to go and eat that. Why are you all eating raw food? Who's our cook? Stuart. But he prioritizes being a doctor, which is fair enough. Hmm, we might need another person that does some cooking for us. We can't keep living like this, can we? And why are the corpses not inside the storage? So this should have... Oh, I didn't have a set of corpses. Silly me. Let's turn the corpses off here then. There we go. You start hauling some bodies. Let's get some of this meat in the freezer before it goes bad. Thank you, Stuart. He's already on top of it. Look at this. What a good little Stuart. Yes, go feed tail some human flesh. I don't think these people are going to really enjoy... Yep, raw cannibalism. Turns out they're not a fan of it. But it's the only food we have going, so you have to eat it and just be happy. What are you up to now, Stuart? Are you still feeding the prisoners? Is that all you do? You just go around feeding prisoners all day? Why don't you feed Tina? Tina's starving to death and you're too busy feeding prisoners. Diana's still just busy building things for the prisoners. The priority is just completely off at the moment. Thank you, Stuart. Give her some human flesh while she sleeps. Did you just... Oh, Stuart, did you just pee in the corner? I think Stuart just peed in the corner. Oh, he's cheering her up. I don't know how that's going to help. Finally, Stuart's researching some of the autopsy for us. Might have to get like a slave that is just dedicated to researching. What are you building there, Diana? Hmm? A human leather couch. That's nice. Was it worth it, Diana? Oh, it is a very nice looking couch. I'll give you that. But you're late to bed as usual. Tina's still just starving to death. Is anyone going to feed her? Could you prioritize feeding Tina before she dies, please? Oh, you just, you put some of the food in her mouth and then you've come over here and eaten the rest of it yourself. You little bugger. Tina's finally fully healed. So hopefully she's going to start doing some stuff around the base for us again. We need some more things to do with the recreation really suppose we could build a chessboard somewhere in case people want to play that together let's just put it there tails no longer incapable of walking Lynn can walk again oh still is vomiting that might be the gut worms. we've got a single heel root here growing someone's actually planted one i think some of my corpses are starting to go a bit bad now that you've built that diana okay grab yourself something to eat there you go uh, uh what are you doing now you're building a human leather armchair okay i'll leave you to do that you're busy tina Tina's doing something. Everyone's doing something. We need someone to haul the bodies, though, before they go bad. What are you up to, Stuart? Research. Oh, it's not enough people. We need more people. All three of these bodies are rotting now, so they're no good to eat anymore. Oh, Lynn's puking next to his bed. As soon as you're better, you're going to get up and you're going to clean that, Lynn. Diana's just finishing off the human leather armchair. Her priorities are just to make the room that we're trying to rent out look nice. Oh, no, our human meat's rotting away. Is this storage not cold? Old enough. Oh, we don't want rotten corpses in storage. You can store your rotten stuff here. Diana's just doing some repairs while Tina pukes her guts out. Everyone's just vomiting everywhere. It's not going well for my little survivors, is it? We really need some of these people to be enslaved so we can start putting them to work, but they're all just resting up and healing at the moment. I mean, this one's starving to death. Oh, I'm so sorry I have to wake you up, but you need to start preparing some of these people. If we don't start getting some meals made up, people are going to start dying aren't they there we go look at this isn't this better yeah so there's a little guinea pig there you're gonna butcher getting some more meat made there goes fosley she's gone now is he rotten he's rotten okay okay where are you going now what's down there no don't take that body leave that no clean the kitchen Stuart. clean the kitchen why are you not able to cook meals for us it says missing ingredients surely this is ingredients do it stop trying to go and get the corpse missing raw ingredient oh it doesn't let me cook there the human meat wasn't counted no wonder he wasn't cooking. Ah, oh, sometimes I just miss things. There we go. We've got some human meat meals being made now. That's going to help. That is much better. Come get your human meat meals. And yet he's just consuming the raw flesh still. Look at him go. He doesn't like any seasoning on his human flesh. Mm, it tastes like chicken, apparently. Toga's still dying, which we should probably address. But first, we have more important matters to attend to, such as the chess table needs to share. Yes. Lynn's puking. Lynn is not in a good way. Oh, he is messed up. Oh, Lynn, you're going to die, I'm afraid. There's not a whole lot I can do. And by that, I mean I can't be bothered. Seems my people prefer just eating the human flesh as it is. They've got the meals now, and they're still choosing to eat it raw. Yeah, medical treatment would be nice, I'll admit. There you go. Lynn's getting treated. Stuart's tending to everyone. He is a good man. Looking after Tina as well. That's good. I don't really get many visitors coming to
to my base and I don't understand why. I like to think my hospitality is second to none. I mean, look at Stuart. He's like a caring grandmother. He's just climbed on top of tail to feed Shah. If that isn't caring, I don't know what is. Oh dear, he's got confused again. Poor Stuart. What are you prioritizing now, Diana? A bone dresser. Cool, thank you so much for that. I think our prisoners have it better than we have it now. Tina's back to doing some repair work. Well, we've got one of the chairs for the chess table now. And I've also set up a couple of wooden skull spikes outside the front of my base. Just to let people know that we're a bit like Geppetto. Only when Pinocchio lies, we put his head on a spike outside our house. Toga's got a medical emergency. What, the gut worms? Get over it. What, you're not eating? You're not talking? You're not conscious? Get, get over it. Come on. Stuart's just sitting and playing some chess on his own, which is nice. Why don't you prioritise harvesting some rice? I mean, we planted it. We can always feed the rice to the slaves that we have. Winter's coming soon. We need to start gathering up materials ready for it, really. Maybe if we can build this wooden tailor bench. We need wood, steel, and components. So, there's a couple of dusty travellers coming. MJ and another desperate refugee are approaching. They claim to have lost their home in a recent attack. MJ begs you for permission to stay at the hotel for cannibals for five days. Uh, yes, I, I'm more than happy to help. Please, please come and find yourself more than welcome. How old are you? 37 and 27. You two are way too young to join me, but you can be slaves. Oh, your rival is Diana. How do you even know each other? Oh, you both hate Diana. You are not very nice, are you? When you arrive, you don't have time to do anything fun. You're just going to work. That's your work schedule. I'm going to give you three hours to sleep. The rest of it's going to be spent working. As for chores, you're going to grow. You're going to clean. And oh, your skill is really good at research, actually. You're going to research. You're going to go and doctor people. And even though you don't like it, you're going to grow stuff. There, I have spoken. Good, you're already getting to work. I like this. Good on you both. I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn this off. One of you can have a bedroom for your stay here. The other can just sleep on the floor somewhere. It'll be nice. Don't wake Stuart up. He needs to sleep. Oh, for God's sake, you just botched the construction. MJ. Oh, you imbecile. Start researching for me. There we go. That's good. You're going to get me autopsy. Toga's puking. That's good. Shah is fully healed. Oh, lovely. We finally have someone fully healed. He's already cleaning. Go and enslave them for me. There we go. You're doing well, Diana. You go and do slave things now. It's just a hive of activity now, look. He's clearing this area for the rowing of some heel root. Tina's having a party. Tina, that is a very sad party you're throwing. Yep, she's having the time of her life. She is going from one chair to another. Stuart wants in on this party. Wow, look, there's blood on the floor. Oh, this is magical. Is Diana? Yep, Diana's attending the party as well. The three pensioners are having a party of a lifetime, wandering around a room together. Oh, so much fun. Char, why don't you start doing things? Oh, we've got a herbal medicine in here does anyone need a herbal medicine taurus is about to have a major breakdown can't think why oh because he's ate without a table oh dear oh dear fine if you guys men are we're gonna arrest him i mean this pie is lovely and everything but all your recreation needs are full so can you start getting on with some work thank you i'm gonna turn this back into a prisoner bed because i'm probably gonna try and capture these two soon we are completely out of food at the moment this is not good for anyone i'll tell you what taurus isn't doing much He's just been cutting trees down. I might get him to have a go at this sloth in a minute. Or maybe we'll just leave him alone. He's not hurting anyone, is he? So these ship chunks are actually really good to rip apart, I've noticed. Get some components and other bits and pieces from them. Set them all to deconstruct. Deal maker. What's this deal maker? A stunning good looking stranger is approaching your colony. He wants to talk. Okay. He's a 24 year old. He's coming towards our base. I'm, I'm going to let him come to us here he comes tina's just puking out of anticipation see what this gentleman wants okay so siren wants to join siren is skilled in everything to an unnatural degree he may be very useful but you also sense there is something siren is not telling you yeah well we've just captured him there we are that went down without even having to fight good job ladies oh so he's unwaveringly loyal and we are all his rivals oh i see stop feeding him get out of the room diana go in the room we're gonna kill him oh i don't know what i've just done oh my god why did he just make that noise i don't like this lynn the policeman's gonna get shot and so's taurus oh no where's tina tina's playing 
chest. Tina, get down there. Let's see what happens. Okay, Taurus is helping. Oh, Lynn's attacking Taurus. Stay out of there. Oh, okay, Taurus attacked Tina. I don't like this guy. Kill him. Kill him dead. Okay, he's he's, he's gone. Everything's all right. You prioritize butchering. Let's get some more food. Lynn's been hurt again. He's also starving. Oh, his ring finger's been shot off. He's also better now, though. Oh, why was there a siren howl? Siren has let out a twisted half-human scream. In the distance, you can hear other screams answering the call. <gasps> oh, no. What have I just done? Oh, what's this thing? It's a sight stealer. Taurus has also gone berserk. The final straw was cooked cannibalism. Oh no, ladies, we need you again. Tyrus is being ungrateful. Did uh, Tyrus just fell asleep? I think Tyrus just fell asleep. Stuart's being attacked. Oh, Stuart's down. Quickly. Yeah, there we go. You ain't getting up from that, are you? Okay, let's prioritize putting these fires out. Where are you going? Don't go back to bed. Help Stuart. There we go. Now they're all going back to bed. These two are just laying down here on top of each other, which is good because Tyrus has just fallen asleep when he went mental. Or is it? No, he's just just flailing around on the floor he's, he's awake he's just incapable of walking at the moment it's good things resolved themselves hopefully Tyrus won't be stressed out when he wakes back up and he'll just get on with doing some nice things now you're not using that mate that's not for you Stuart can't walk okay prioritize tendon Stuart go take the heel there we go that's for Stuart that's not for you you naughty that's Stuart Stuart gets healed not stupid Tyrus okay he's back to research and that's good Link could still use help He's going to die in 11 hours if no one helps him. Could you possibly go and help Lynn out next? Lynn didn't mean to get involved. It was the siren. Oh, nope. Lynn's died. Okay. Lynn's dead. <sighs> We've lost our two original slaves. <gasps> It's a sad day for everyone here. Except Taurus. He's now got some food that he can give to people. Who needs a medical emergency? Stuart does. Oh, he's still dying. I mean, Diana's trying. He did pretty much get brutalized by that sight stealer just now. Okay, there's no immediate danger anymore. You prioritize enslaving then. Because we could really use these people to join our team properly. And enslave Tail as well. There we go. Lovely stuff. You can return to helping out Stuart now. Oh, Taurus is going to die in three hours. Oh, really? Oh, you're not going to leave. He's, he's trying to run away. Stop running. I just want to help you. Oh, he can run fast. Stuart's just died. Stuart died from malnutrition. Oh, no. Oh, Stuart. <sighs> We'll miss you. Try to arrest him. He runs really fast. Look at him. Oh, there's a wolf chasing him. No, he's going to get away. Wow, he's actually got away. Wow, he ran fast for a big guy. Right, what's happening? We've lost our only medic now. I think Tyrus is going to die as well. Yeah, he's out. That's right, it was just the plant cutter. We didn't really need him. Stuart, we can hold a funeral for Stuart. A funeral for a friend. Yeah, yeah, Tyrus has died. We understand. Okay, so we don't actually have anyone cooking anymore. Looks like Diana's going to become the cook. Let's prioritize Butcher and then get some of that meat. There we go. Butcher him as well. You've detected a gold mining work site nearby controlled by Cancer Group. Why have they called themselves the Cancer Group? You silly people. Ah, oh, time for Stuart's funeral. Let's make it really emotional, shall we? Yeah, we're going to butcher him. Ah, there we go. Go away, Stuart's funeral needs. Prioritize hauling some of this stuff then. This room's getting way too messy. Tina's starving. Well, Tina, we have loads of meat now. We've got light meat. We've got dark meat. And we've even got Stuart meat. So just help yourself, will ya? How are these people doing? Starving, starving, and starving. Hmm, good times for everyone. Should we maybe feed them? I know it's going to ruin your sleep, but wake Shah up and just enslave them. Or don't wake them up. Just whisper sweet nothings into their ear you're a slave you're a good slave you're going to be my slave forever i know tina you want to go back to bed but we really need to help these people we need more now don't we maybe clean the room a bit it is a bit messy there we go get rid of all that blood tina you, you are a good tina you are you're just gonna feed toga aren't you mm. force feed them while they're sleeping like a goose so it's bedroom it's just empty now oh 
What are you eating? <gasps> Tina's eating normal people food. Tina's not really a cannibal, is she? She just pretends to be one. She's like, yeah, I eat people, but it's because you kind of make me. If I had the choice, I'd rather have some beans. We need to go and enslave them some more. Keep yelling at them. Yeah, that's good. I like how my base is just now like full of blood and vomit. It's like a party that no one wanted to go to. Still need to get a start on this thing before winter comes because we're going to have to build clothing, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, well done, Diana. Told you to prioritize. You threw some stuff in and then you went to bed. Thank you so much. Tina, what are you doing? You are needing some sleep. Oh, Tina. Tina, Tina, Tina. Call it. We don't have time for this, Tina. There we go. Have some food and then go back to bed. Why not? You people just sleep all the time. I mean, granted, you're 72 and 87, but go and enslave Tail some more. And Toga. Don't forget Toga. They might be unwell, but they still need enslaving. And Diana's going back to bed. Please build some stuff for me. And Diana's going back to bed. No, no. Keep building. Get all the clothes. There we go. Why have you put him in there? Okay, whatever. You're having a good old sort out, aren't you? Oh, you've changed your clothes. That's nice. Who's having a medical emergency? Sharp. Oh, because you're hungry. Hungry, I see. I should probably feed you, shouldn't I? Just feed Shaf for me. You can just climb on top of Tail. There you go. How are you doing? Oh, you're all really hungry. I should really feed you more often, but I just get sidetracked. You know how it is? She's desperate to go back to bed. She's like, I really hate Mondays and Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Friday. Uh, you know what? I hate my life. Tina's ready to hit the day again, I think. Maybe we can get her to start building this thing. Missing steel. Oh, are we? Are we missing steel, Tina? Go out and deconstruct some stuff then. We need the clothing before winter comes. And trust me, winter is coming. Chunks of spacecraft have been padded nearby. Our planet is just in the way of spaceships. Like every spaceship ever. So what did you get? You got some uranium? Uranium, some more scraps. What's this? Some steel. Oh, Tina. Tina, Tina, Tina. What are we going to do with you, Tina? Maybe we can have you prioritise deconstructing this one as well. How's that sound? What's Diana up to in the meantime? Making and eating food. Oh, she's just got food poison. Ah, oh, we should have probably cleaned this place. Yeah, clean all the blood up. There we go. Better late than never, hey? Can you please prioritise hauling? Like, why do you clear it and then you just leave it? There we go. You've got enough steel now, don't you? Can you build that? Yes. Oh, lovely. We're getting our workstation. This is good. We can finally make outfits. And we're going to have to build some parkas because it's going to get cold. Oh, we can make slave collars. That might be nice for them. We can make them trendy slaves, can't we? Let's make a parka first. Because that really gets me in the Christmas spirit. And it's going to be made out of human flesh. There we go. We'll do it until we have three in storage. And yeah, anyone can do it. Okay, that's good. We've got our first little build. What else could we make? Maybe some kind of hat? Or some capes. Do we want some capes? A slave body strap. Yes, please. And again, we're going to make these out of human leather. Yeah. And we'll do this until we have four. Nice. We're going to begin some clothing for our slaves and for our people. I like that Diana has just very low expectations. She understands the kind of person I am. She's afraid of the dark, but she's really happy that she's killed someone. She's such a lovely old lady, isn't she? Should we enslave these people a bit more? Oh, I was about to enslave Toga, but they've just fallen on the floor. Oh, because they're hungry again. Oh, why are they always hungry? What what are you doing? No, can you not? I need you to go and prioritize enslaving people. Where's Tina? Tina, Tina, Tina. What are we going to do with you, Tina? Could you do me a favor and maybe save Toga and then maybe feed them? That would be nice. Thank you so much. Ah, finally, we've broken Shah's win. One of them's on their way to becoming our slave. Diana's got major food poisoning and has decided it would be a good idea to start hauling boulders around. Here, Stuart's dead. We've got a hospital bed now. Tina is going to lay in it. Tina's not well. Char's having a medical emergency. Ah, oh, why is everyone malnourished? Ah, oh, did you feed these people for me? I know you're hungry as well, but we do have to keep them happy, really, don't we? Oh, good, Tina. Just throw up in our refrigerator. We are getting low on food again. Oh, Diana's thrown up in the refrigerator as well. Tina needs medical treatment, otherwise her injuries may become permanent. What, you mean the frostbite? That's fine, it can become permanent. She'll just have a little withered hand 
hand or something. Why is everyone just coming over and looking at Toga? Let Diana get on with her job, please. Come on, let's enslave them some more. Oh, we've enslaved Shah. Shah is a full slave now. Oh, good times. Oh, however, a slave rebellion is already likely. Why are you going to rebel against me? What did I ever do to you other than enslave you and feed you human meat? Can't we just get along for once? Are you just helping yourself to some new clothes? I don't really appreciate that. So what are you good at? You are really good at growing. Wow. Okay, that is going to be your thing. You are going to grow and cut plants. That's your life, okay? Allow that to be the main thing you do. Hopefully our fields will start building up and the slaves will be able to feed themselves because they're not a big fan of eating the human meat I've made for them. Shah's starting to plant some heel root. We are getting heel root planted. I mean, my people are kind of in a constant state of just starvation at the moment. I don't have enough food for anyone. Their food's out and their food's just about to go out again. They're also severely malnourished. Ah, uh, we might need to hurry up and enslave them. Okay, well, their spirit's been broken now. I guess the next time we do it, they become ours. Clean your quarters, Tina. It's disgusting. There's vomit and blood everywhere. There we go. Stuarts can stay rotten. He's not going to need it anymore, is he? I mean, this person's going to be useful because at least they have some mining. Tail here. Oh, well, no, they're crafting. They might actually be more useful to us. Hmm. But they do cook. Ah, tough times, hey? Tough times. I was thinking of killing them because now Tina's puking all over the chest table. Shah's doing an amazing job at planting up the heel root. We're going to have some med packs again, finally. It's just the food shortage that's a huge problem at the moment. We may need to go out and hunt some critters. Maybe like the raccoons, the turkey. I mean, even these. We, we need some food. We can kill a few alpacas. There's loads of them. Maybe when Diana's up and about, she'll go and do that for us. So we've just got a new quest. The Countess is asking for one colonist to help negotiate. They need to be 13 years or older. Yeah, we can do this. They're going to send a shuttle. So Diana's going out to go hunt some of these little critters. Or not, she's just going to go and pick up a dead turkey. Why don't you hunt some of the critters that aren't dead? We could use the ones that aren't bones, like the little timber wolf here. Go get the timber wolf. I don't know how this is going to go, trying to kill a wolf, but we need the meat. Diana's about to get eaten by a wolf. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I didn't know how strong wolves were. Turns out they're pretty strong. Tina, come save her. She's tried to kill a wolf on her own. What a silly Diana. Keep running. You can do it. You're almost there. Tina saved the day and you've just left her outside to die. You're a mean old one, aren't you? She's bleeding, but there's no immediate danger. No danger. They're both bleeding, but it's fine. We need to take this out. Maybe it's got food on it. This is what we think of you and your missions. Trying to get us to help you negotiate. Negotiate this one, hey? And it's gone. It's materials, but still, it was it was good. We got some more materials. Oh, Shah's just in there eating the wolf without cooking any of it. That's good. What is your cooking skill like? Like, pretty rubbish, but you know what? They're all pretty rubbish, so we're going to allow you to do it. Make some meals up. You might be able to save the camp. Why can't we use wolf meat? We've got the wolf meat. Mm. That is raw food, is it not? I don't know. That's because you're going to eat it, are you? No, Tina. Oh, Toga's died. Good times. Toga's just died from malnutrition. You might as well butcher her then and you and Tina can have some meat. There you go. Everyone's had some dinner now. If we can get tail fed before she dies, that would be good as well. I don't know if anyone's going to do that or Tina just wants to go back to bed. She's going to die in 20 hours, so I don't blame her. Diane is still in no immediate danger, so she's decided to go out and collect. Yep, she couldn't help herself. She's just got the dead animal that she's always wanted. Hold on, why don't you get that? Take that one. It's dead already. That was the wolf's kill. There you go. Where did you leave the raccoon? Oh, where did you put the raccoon? Did you just eat the raccoon? Where's the raccoon? Oh, you're so annoying. She had a raccoon. She's put it in her pocket and she's forgot about it. She's like, raccoon? What dead raccoon? I didn't have a dead raccoon. Oh, Tails just died as well. Oh, then there were three, hey? Tina can't walk. At least we've got one med pack now for Tina so we can get her off death's door. Tina's starving now, though. Diana's also just bleeding all over the floor, but she's in no immediate danger. She doesn't care. She's just going to heal from it. Tina's like, oh, I've been bitten on my body and i've got severe blood loss oh i'm dying she's been bitten like everywhere look at her and she's just like oh whatever i'll just get on with things oh shah's gone berserk oh what's she doing oh is she, is she gonna go and punch the mega sloth that's fine let her do that if that's her thing yeah you go and start on that thing w watch what happens yeah you're having second thoughts now aren't you you're a chicken Bye.
Now you're gonna go and punch it again. Go on then. What's what happens? Oh yes. I think you're gonna die, Shah. Oh, he's really angry. He's still enraged. He wants revenge. Tina's no longer in trouble. But now we have an angry mega sloth outside the door. No, 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 no. Rest the no, no. Go. Don't go out there. It's not good. Shah's just gonna have to lay there and die. Oh, it's bashing the door down. Just stay in bed. It will go away. Okay, Shah's dead in two hours. We really could use Shah to not die. Otherwise, we're gonna be down to two people. Oh, can you move yet? No, you can't walk still. Oh, oh, we have to. We have to try and save them. Wait until it goes. Okay, it's coming down there. Go, Diana. No, Diana, it's coming back. Oh, no. Oh, it's coming for you. Oh, no. Hell burn it. Hell burn it. Oh, yeah, just burn its face. Yeah, you're on fire, you stupid thing. How do you like these apples? Oh, no. He likes them very much. Oh, no. Oh, she's... Oh, we've just lost her. Diana's down. Damn it, Diane. I knew you had that raccoon still. Tina still can't move. Oh, she's dead in five hours. We've already lost Shah. Get out of bed, Tina. Oh, Diana's gonna die. <laughs> Who would have thought Diana would die? The mega sloth is still just angry at the world. I mean, look at his health. We set it on fire and we only took it to half health. Oh, sense in trouble. A mysterious man in black has arrived. Oh, are you actually gonna save Diana? Probably not because there's oh the sloths on you just focus on diana it'll be fine focus on diana just you can do it i believe in you Ma Mara Marin. not even old enough to join our ranks so we're gonna eat you after come on Marin. come on okay just give it the old one two run past it oh you've ran into it you could have ran around the other way you know keep going keep going just fight the pain oh just fight the pain just pretend it's hugging you with its teeth ah oh, just keep going oh you, you might have saved the day oh he's just bashed the door open oh and he can fit he can fit oh he's down no tina you're gonna die in two hours are we getting another mysterious man in black coming to save the man in black no no one's able to walk it's just a race to see if they're able to walk again before diana dies oh the sloth's back he's coming to rub it in now isn't he death in four hours and death in one hour oh the man in black tried he really did he tried his hardest we can give him that death in 0 0.7 hours i guess we're about to lose diana then this is a sad day for people who lights diana everywhere look at tense diana oh diana's dead oh oh are you just you're just grabbing a meal and you're just going out the door yeah look there's a sloth did you not know were you unaware oh i'm sorry you were asleep weren't you so you never saw it oh cool he's just beat you to death and now he's laying down dying as well well at least we killed him he's gonna die in four hours oh, it worked out all right really didn't it death in two hours death in eight hours oh, let's see what happens you're first see you mera thanks for the help you're next dead in one hour <laughs> you stupid sloth i guess that's the video victory for me then isn't it little old tina just laying here on the floor waiting for death to come in ah oh, what a lovely life they all had